For me, the works we covered within this class served as a way to cover the depth and diversity of human experience, and as a result, the value of the lives of those who possess human experience, which is everyone. This diversity of experience is very useful, as it allows humans to perceive things in different ways, which allows us as a society to progress quicker. As the best ideas come forth when multiple options are available. However, this comes with the cap a natural internal resistance that as individuals we must learn to teach ourselves to overcome. Fear of the unknown and hostility to that which is different was once a beneficial evolutionary adaptation which allowed early humans to more instinctually deal with threats. However this primitive primal nature is no longer necessary, and indeed holds us back. Now that we are capable of reason and can act rationally. Instead, if we could understand and respect those experiences that are significantly different than our own, we are in a better position to accept and make use of all perspectives. And obviously, the best way to understand those unique, unique experiences is if we are exposed to them, or at least enough of them that we can consciously in, and internally recognize that there is no one right way to view life, that the universe does not revolve around us. I believe that to be at least one of the goals of this course, and it was a goal well met. The book served as vessels into the minds of those who experienced a small but fas fascinating example of the human story, while the essays helped set the stage and framework from which we could analyze these human stories. In this video series, I hope to flesh out some of these experiences and the parts that most interest me, as well as give a brief description of my responses to the works we covered in class, including both my initial reaction and later more rational thoughts.